I feel like all we're doing in Portland is eating. Welcome to day five. Uh, it's our first morning here in Portland. Yesterday we went to Cannon Beach and it was a little bit of just a driving day to get here, but we are excited to explore Portland, see what the city has to offer. First up, brunch. to Voodoo Donuts and we had to stop in. I know it's not the best donut in Portland, but we just got one and they gave us an entire box because I think they saw our giant camera set up so they thought it'd be good for Instagram photos, which this is. <laughs> oh God. We are in Powell's Books in Portland, Oregon. It's a famous bookstore that's huge. I could spend hours alone just in their travel section. So many books. After getting lost in Powell's books, we headed across the street for a slice of pizza at Sizzle Pie. Quite good. Thin crust. Next, we decided to take advantage of Portland's bike share. It's super easy to do, you just download an app and you're on your way. Next on our donut list, Blue Star. The next part of our Portland tour took us to a darker side of the city's history. Portland has a large network of tunnels underneath its streets. Dug in the 19th century, they were originally used to help move goods from the ships at the waterfront to the center of the city. They asked us not to record any video during this time, but here are a few photos to illustrate what we saw when we were down there. The tunnels later became used for kidnapping and human trafficking. Sometimes the hotels and bars above even had trap doors over which they would place people and then drop them down into the tunnels. These people were then placed in cells where they were held until they could be sold to one of the ships waiting. After our tour, we needed a little cheering up, so we decided to head to one of Portland's best sushi spots. No trip to Portland would be complete without a stop to a microbrewery. Alright, we had to leave Portland this morning, but now we're headed east along the Columbia 
River Gorge. Our main destination is Multnomah Falls, which is super popular, but it's really gorgeous, so it's for a good reason. Got my future home. Not about you, right? don't want to do in Oregon is drive the Columbia River Gorge Highway on a Saturday in summer. On a Saturday in summer. On a Saturday in summer. Which is something we ended up doing today. It's just how timing worked out. So I didn't get to see Multnomah Falls. I sent Kevin. I've seen it before. He saw it. He took photos. But we're stopping at a couple other waterfalls along the way if I can find parking. On a Saturday in Right now we're at Horsetail Falls. Someone pulled out and I was able to pull right in and get a parking space so we get to see these incredible falls. There are two sections to Horsetail Falls. Next we decided to hike to the upper part. River is Lavender Valley. It's lavender, so you don't have to go to France to see a lavender bloom, and it's got an even better background, which we'll show you later. It's for lavender picking! Mount Hood without a stop at the famous Timberline Lodge. It's where they filmed the exterior scenes for The Shining. Also, the mountain is amazingly gorgeous, so of course I'd want to drive up it. It's like my favorite thing to do, driving up mountains. Daddy's not here, Mrs. Torrance. <laughs>
we explored the interior of the beautiful lodge and discovered that it's a stop on the Pacific Crest Trail. Be sure to check out our next vlog to continue following our Oregon road trip. You're gonna love this video. <laughs> Cut.